All right, hello there guys. So I thought it would be a super fun video to make if I were to show you guys all of my different cochlear implant processors throughout the years. So um, I just was gonna show you each one and how they've changed over the years because they, they started out big and then they've gotten gradually smaller. The sound has gotten better over the years as well and features on, on the implants have gotten better. So the first one I wanna show you guys is actually not a cochlear implant, it is a hearing aid. So um, before I got my first surgery at 18 months old, the doctors gave me a little tiny hearing aid to stimulate my nerve before the surgery. So this didn't actually help me hear, but it just stimulated um, my insides. So um, this is the very first hearing device that I had. It's a tiny little hearing aid. So small. I don't know what the dog's barking about. There's nobody out there. Okay, and then I had my surgery at 18 months old, and <laughs> sorry for the background noise. I'm, I'm in the middle of the house, and you've got a little one running around, a dog barking, and t two different TVs playing. You can hear it. I can, and so can the camera. <laughs> um, so after my first surgery, at 18 months old, I was given my first cochlear implant processor, and that would be this one right here. And I don't know, but I don't remember the name of this one. Um, I don't know if they had names back then. Um, but this is the very first cochlear implant processor that I had. All of the information and data that is typically in like the front of the co new cochlear implant processors um, was right here instead of in here. So I had to carry this around. Can I add something? Sure. You were the first baby to have an implant at that hospital. That was like new to them. So, see ya. Oh. I was number one. Um, so, yes. So I had to carry this around in a pouch everywhere I went. And this is actually the smaller processor. Um, this one only took one battery versus two. There was another processor that was like quite a bit bigger. But it just sat in a pouch, wore this on my head, on my ear, long ear, on this ear. I just walked around with it. So then I got my second surgery for my left implant um, at six years old. And after that surgery, I was given the nucleus freedom, the nucleus freedom. So as you can tell, this is, it's a little chubbier, um, but it doesn't have this attached to it. So I could just wear this behind the ear, didn't have to worry about wearing a pouch. Um, so this is the nucleus freedom. And I had this when I was six years old. And I had it on both ears until I was 13 years old. And then when I was 13 years old, I got the Nucleus 6. And so when I was 13, I got this one. As you can tell, it's significantly skinnier, smaller than this, but the, the sound, the microphone was like a lot better. Um, and then it also had different features on it that were better than this. So for this one, it literally just helped me here. I, I could turn it off, turn it on, turn the volume up, you know, do all that, but that's all it did. Um, with this one, I was given the ability to listen to songs via Bluetooth or watch shows using Bluetooth, but I had to use a clip. So I don't think I have the clip in here. I just have the boxes for it. So you guys will just, yeah, I don't have the clip. But this is what the clip looks like. And it's about this big, and it literally just clips onto your, your clothes, clips onto whatever you want it to clip onto. When I ran, I clipped it onto my hat, um, but you have to turn that on, and then you have to connect it to the Nucleus 6. Hi. And <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Emmy's saying hi. Um, but you, you had to connect this to the clip, and then the clip connected to the phone, or the TV, or whatever, and then it would, you know, go back to that but you, you had to make sure that the clip was charged and you had to make sure that your ear was charged and you had to make sure that your phone was charged and it was just like, it was a little bit of a process, but it was still kind of cool um, to, to have that ability. What's this stuff? And he wants to be in the video. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Okay, <laughs> and then when I was, I guess 20, it's the beginning of this year, I got the Nucleus 7s, which I'm wearing right now, 
which are significantly smaller than the sixes. And as you can tell, they're also quite a bit darker than the sixes. So the reason for this is um, when I was younger, I had really light hair and this was actually the color of my hair. But as I gotten older, um, this is closer to my hair color. So it blends in a little better. Um, and the neat thing about these is um, microphone is like a lot better. Like when I put these on, I could tell right away um, that it was just much crisper and clearer than, um, than this, these. Um, and my favorite feature on this one is the Bluetooth as well. But instead of having a clip for these, it literally just connects to my, uh, my processor. So I literally can just play a song and it automatically connects. I don't have to worry about turning the, the um, clip on or making sure that it's charged. It just automatically goes from my phone to my ear and my ear to my phone, which is amazing. So that's kind of what they look like. So we started out here, I guess, technically with the, the hearing aid. Um, but we started out here with the cochlear implant yeah. processors with the process processor being so big that I had to wear it in a pouch to this, which is super light. The microphone quality is like amazing. I can listen to Bluetooth. It's just, it's crazy to see it come, go from this to this, to this, to this. All right, and then I figured, this isn't as important, but I figured you guys might wanna see like what the packages look like when, um, when I got the processors initially. So the first um, processor, I guess it was, I think this is this one's, it came, it came in this little bag. So all the accessories for it came in here. Um, so that was what the first bag box looked like. And then the second box for the Freedoms looked like this. So I got all my accessories in here. And then for the the, sub, the sixes, I got this box, which just looks so cool. No, it says, no, let there be no, sound. No, no. Do you like it, Emmy? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And then I got a backpack for my sevens. Um, I actually have a video. <laughs> I actually have a video of um, me unboxing those. So if you want to take a look at that, um, it's on my channel, so you can click my channel and you can find it. It's one of the um, top videos, so you can find it very easily. So I got a backpack with that one, which was really cool. Um, so I think that concludes this video. Um, it's just it's it's super cool for me to just look back on each of these processors, but. Um, I figured I would share that with you guys if you were interested in seeing this. Um, I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something from it um, and just really enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Emmy, can you say bye? Come here. Come here. Come, come around. Can you say bye?